Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Mutate Britain. Mutate Britain is a collection of artists, um, people who are basically want to, want to do something with a change in our life. We thought we'd do a show that would, that would actually kind of like give people something that was entertaining, but also educational and also fun. And that's what we've done. We've done a great show for everyone. So the main reason that we do Mutate Britain is to take art out of the gallery and bring it into the city so that people can enjoy it, so it's accessible, so there's no kind of beard stroking, there's no sort of pondering over stuff. You can go to the show, you can come and feel it, and it's real, and it's, and it's on the streets rather than in a boring gallery. We don't get no sponsorship, we get no grants, we get nothing, so we can do whatever we want and we answer to no one. Well, we've had over 30,000 visitors here. We're doing this show in London, and it's for London, but we've had loads of people from around the world get in contact with us uh, you know, via, via the Facebook group, and so hopefully that's proof that a lot of people want to come and see this kind of work and that it's valued by the public. The mighty helicopter of Joe Rush, mutoided. This is like military scrap refuse turned into giant sculpture. Mutate Britain is a collection of artists, really. It's a creative inferno of, of, of where people just can come and just be creative, really. We're more than the sum of our parts, you know, we're, we're what makes it is everybody getting involved. This is Run from Italy, uh, so one of our international contributors, and then Park Tourism doing the floral skull there. I guess that's a kind of a reaction to the Damon Hirst thing in a sort of street art kind of way. I think one thing that's really, really uh, nice about mutual waste and about street art in general is it takes something and it makes you look at it slightly differently. Um, so, Mutoid Waste and Joe Rush do that with pieces of metal, but street artists will do that with familiar images and then tweak them and change them so that you're looking at something that you can basically process and deal with and enjoy, but suddenly see a new angle on it. And that's what, that's what we try and do here, is, is bring a new angle on, on kind of stuff that is in everyday world.